Hello everyone, welcome to the video. I'm currently on the building server, as you can see. And today I'm gonna show you how to make the charcoal maker. And why do you need a charcoal maker? It's quite easy. If you have a lot of wood and you have electric furnaces, then you're in trouble getting the charcoal. Also, it's really handy uh, to uh, burn some charcoal uh, while you're sleeping overnight or you're AFK or doing other stuff uh, on the map. And if you play on an unmodded official server, it might take some time to get enough charcoal to make some boom. So what we're going to do is we're going to place the furnace in the middle. Turn it off to have the effect in the end. And what we want is a simple wood box for the input. Just like that. And a charcoal box for the output. output. Just like that. Now, what we want to place on the boxes is these things, the storage adapters. Just place it wherever you want. Place it here. I'm going to place it here. And what we need is conveyors. I'm going to place one here, and I'm going to place one here. Also, place one of these on top of the furnace. Now what we do is we attach these output over here and this one goes over here then this one goes over here and this one goes over here. That's the simple output, uh, input output. And what we need is, of course, I'm having a large battery here, but we don't really need one. I mean, a small battery is enough for this. I like using branches. So we're going to power it up a little bit. Power in. And the branch in here. This one has a path through, so that's nice. And the whole system takes two power, as you can see. We're going to hit E, turn it on, hold E to change the filters. going to type in wood, add wood, apply. And on the other side, turn it on, hold E, and put a bit charcoal. Just like that. Here we go. Now the furnaces aren't burning yet. Now there's a cool trick. It's most know or not know, I don't know. If you don't know, I'm gonna show it to you. We're gonna need an igniter and we're gonna need a button. Place the igniter, say around here. Make a button, say around here it up. Not like that. Because the button doesn't need power. And attach it to the igniter. Now the funny thing about the button is that it produces one power for a brief second. And the igniter needs one power to ignite. Uh, you can use the igniter 50 times, so if you hit the button 50 times, your igniter will be broken. But the funny part is, if you press it now, it produces power without having power, and turns on the furnaces. Why is this handy, you think? Imagine you have around 10 of these furnaces, and you can all ignite them at once. But this is the system just for one furnace. But what we want is to get some charcoal fast. We remove this and remove this. The system will be the same, but we're just gonna add some more furnaces. We're 
I'm gonna turn them off. Turn them off. And do it like that. I'm gonna need where are they? These again, of course. Just like that. The system stays the same. But we need this. Splitters right now. With a splitter. You can make it as crazy as you want. This one goes into the inn. And this one goes to this one. And this one goes into this one. And now we have one opening left. And we're just going to place another one. Like that. And we can continue again on this way. Here we go. We're going to place another one. can see is it's actually funny. The system is quite buggy. And gone it is. What you will see uh, from now and then, besides this of course, totally disappearing or not working, is that Pipes do go missing from time to time. So what you want is actually to have these and these not hidden a lot. Because if the system isn't working, and especially these, if these fail or bug out, then your whole system will go down the drain and you need to set this pipe again. I've woken them up a lot of times or opened and closed the door and all of a sudden this pipe is missing. And if you hide this too much, you're going to have trouble attaching it again. Now, let's do it like this. What we want to do now is that we combine the input, of course. Now we want to combine the output. And for that, we use the combiner. Same trick, same system. Just place it like this. And we want to attach all these pipes now. Into this. Now, if you want to do it neatly, you can, of course, do it like this, go through the floor or hide it a bit. But the problem I have with the neatness of the system is the bugginess of the system. I like my pipes to be hidden, but I don't want to spend hours and hours finding which pipe is missing every time. So. I've turned a little bit lazier lately with the piping system. And as you can see now, it kind of looks horrible. But we attach these into this one. And this one goes into the in, and the system is set up again. 
So we have now six charcoal makers. And let me get some wood. Place it in here. And the igniter is still the same. Six furnaces now. Some charcoal in here. Let me see if it's on. Yes, it's on. And it's on. And wow effect. There we go. All burning. And the charcoal should be pumping soon. Wood is burning, charcoal is getting in. And that's it. All system for the automated charcoal maker. Now you can make this as silly as you want, of course. I mean, you can even make 40 furnaces. And the coolest thing you'll find is if you have a load of furnaces like this, and then you press this button, people have no clue what's going on with the sound effect. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit the follow button if you want more videos, and see you next time. Ciao, ciao.